Any questions? I think I heard that. Elbow down, wrist down. Elbow, hey, down. I'm trying to pull this in. Fingertips, putting pressure on the inside of his wrist, so as that drops down, the fingertips go in. Elbow. me with that hand. It's just a second. And I'm just, this is coming out, slightly yimmy. Here, so he can't draw this in. If he draws this in, there's torque in his elbow, he actually has to move his body forward to try to retract his arm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that creates the open. Any questions? Hey, what's up? Big boys down here? You're in.
reflection on it right here, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, full. Go for it. Mm -hmm. Don't break. Don't break. Those are half. Don't break. This is super tight, so be careful with your root case, okay? Yeah. You should practice what I preach. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I do that for everybody okay. because I'm a dick. But <laughs> here, this is that's what I want right there. I want to lock this up. Yeah. So he can't punch me over here, right? Here. And all I'm doing, this is Yubi Dory. Right? So here. Yubi Dory. Right? What I'm doing is I'm hooking with my lower two fingers right up against his hand low as low on the wrist as I can get it. What I'm doing is I'm making his palm, I'm removing this space right here, so that there's no space between his palm and my wrist. And then I'm flaring my elbow, and rolling this up into Yui Dori. It, this locks the arm straight, which is what we need for Shihonage. If you're ever in a technique and you see this straight arm this way here, you should automatically think, oh my God, <laughs> and that's what we're doing. We're just generating that right here. This foot cuts across. We're going to go nice and tight right to this deflection angle. If he punches in from here, look, there's my deflection. Right, right off that shoulder. Right? So I want to go in that direction right there. So I slide in. Yeah. On my shoulder, I have my shoulder north of his elbow. You can see his elbow. I'm going to bend your elbow here. Right, right there. North of his elbow here, so he's stuck. He's stuck. Now I can take my time. All I'm going to do is put my chin to my chest and zengo. And this is going to change to the other side. Drop straight down. What technique is this? What technique is this? Is this hand right on? Is this hand right on? Yeah. If you're working with, um, what's that? If you're working with a, a lower level uke, a newer uke, what if you're actually going to stop in the middle of this or slow down? I'm going to come up here. I'm going to go nice and slow, bring this in tight, and then we can drop this right down. His elbow's going to stay on the shoulder, and I'm going to take this wrist and bring it right to my side center here. Right Very good. Any questions? Hey, Ozo. So back to not letting him attach. Continues to roll the other way, right? This one here rolls up here, comes up here just like this. Great elbow to collarbone, so it pushes through.
believe it or not, I actually delay on this. I don't know if you can see it. I'm just hesitating just a little bit. Deflect, I move into position. There it is right there. And it all happens at once. It, uh, it makes that circle, and that's what we're trying to do. We're making that circle. I want that circle to hit all at the same time. So it comes up into position. There it is, right there. What is this? Good. Any questions? Is there a point, Sensei, when you shifted from the mechanics to almost pure feel on this and you noticed a difference in, like, you no longer had to think about the pieces? Yes. But it just yes. comes together. Yeah, and look, I'm going to be honest with you. There's a couple different pieces that you need to worry about. This, if I break it up, it's like, what is this, like six steps, right? I think it, it's what it comes down to. Let me so it's one, two, and I get a step. One, two, three, four, five, yeah, six steps, right? Actually, it's seven, so I need to get it down, right? So one, two, three, four, five, seven, I need to count. <laughs> but anyway, so that's what it is. And when you're learning the mechanics, that's the way you do this, right? You do it the one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, five, Okay, got it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you stop thinking about the individual steps, the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you start breaking it down into groups, deflection, entry, throw, right? So now I'm thinking deflection, deflection, entry, deflection, entry, throw. So now it feels like three steps, right? But ultimately our goal is one. We want to have everything happen all at the same time. The timing you can toy with, I, like I said, I actually wait just a split second with my hands as my feet are still moving. What I like to do is I like to get him into position where he's tight right here, and then I engage the hands. But it all happens at the same time. I'm not rushing it. We're not doing this. We're not doing one, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven. That's not what we're doing. It's not a race from one to seven. It's doing all of them at the same time, all seven steps at the same time. There it is, right there. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And yeah. that's ultimately where you want to go. So you start off with the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then you start to feel, okay, there's my deflection, and then there's my deflection, there's my entry, and then deflection entry technique, okay. Deflection entry technique. And now, instead of all that, it just happens. It's all at once. And what's funny is the last one is the easiest one. Don't think about it, just happens. Just happens. There's that. The only thing that's separating you from that is like a thousand repetition. Go, get busy. I don't know. Stop you from moving back. Limit my, what do we have to really worry about here? Yeah. This isn't the real attack. What's the real attack? <laughs> the Hebrew hammer. That one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, say that again? The Hebrew hammer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so from this position here, you should always be aware of what that hand is doing. Yeah. Sotokiri. 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 Now, I'm just going to exactly the same way we did this earlier. I just want to guide this right off at the same time. This hand's coming up more. Okay, that's feeding that. 
we're using the leverage between the thumb and the index finger on this as he grabs here. I'm literally dropping my elbow. I'm not trying to pull this back. Do not try to yank this out. You won't be able to do it. In fact, you're just going to give him more power. Helps. Okay. <laughs> Instead, just like we did on the Katatsudori Nikyo, the elbow goes down on this, right? The elbow goes down. This comes up. Look what happens. It's nice and slow. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, right? Okay. And that's what we want to do. That's what we want to use that leverage, that small gap between the thumb and the index finger, right? We're using that leverage. This here is coming right off. We can just, you can literally put this right outside and let this just bounce right off here. I just, all I'm doing here is preventing him from taking center line and, and punching me in the face. Yeah. This one's going to come up and reinforce it. Okay? Here. Just that far for right now. Any questions? Hey, what's up? What? How's it going? Okay, we don't have time to go through the full range of toys that we have with this. <coughs> so I'm just going to show, actually, Lou brought this up, and so I'm going I'm to demonstrate this right now. Let's see, let's try this right here, right? So he's going to grab and he punches, right? So a lot of people are asking, like here, where's the elbow go? Okay? So here, if I'm looking for a direct entry technique from here, my elbow is going to stay right here, and it's going to keep the outside, right? <laughs> so, and I'm like, here, there it is, right there, right? Eating me nugget, and this is lightning fast, and Rod is dying to show it to you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God, I wore my defense today, folks. All right. You know, there's almost no entry to it whatsoever. The whole thing. Did you almost get him? I got close to your head there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the other side, nice and slow, nice and slow. So here, let's say, for instance, we're not direct entry. In this case, the elbow's going to come over the top here, right here. Look, right here, the elbow comes over the top of his elbow, and as it does, turn in there, Shikaku no Kuma. So that's the difference between the two. Okay, so here. Entry here, just like this. This is over the top, right here. Ten con. There's our shikaku no kamada. Okay, and there's all kinds of stuff that we can do from here. Rod, <laughs> getting so close. <laughs> <laughs> He's just taunting me now. But anyways, really. Okay, so from here we're gonna do a simple one because we're almost out of time. So let's see if anybody knows. Anybody recognizes this? <laughs> I don't like when you laugh and or smile like that. Ah, oh, no, it's not. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what the name of this one is. Ah, there you go. Guys, you should measure me. I think I'm taller now. Yeah. Actually, it's just the same side thing you see from the <laughs> Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's all for you. It's not about any of us. Right? Here. Right here. I'm going to enter like Irime Nage, even leading the hips through the same way. Nice and deep, but instead, I'm going to stop right here. Enter my hips in underneath. So it's like a table or pushing. Mm -hmm. right? In, I am going to pull this tight here. At the same time, I'm going to drop the even <sighs> so I can get him off. The All right? Yeah. The choke itself is not me just yanking him over, over my back. Uh, huh? The choke is my elbow is around his Adam's <coughs> apple. It's a blood choke. Mm -hmm. And it's, I'm squeezing this. Yeah. Like, like we're trying to break lo a lobster claw. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. There's that. Mm -hmm. That's what we're looking for right there. Mm -hmm. Here, and then pull it tight mm -hmm. as we come across that. Oh. You come across the back, or you, you you're gonna lock your fingers, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Did you need to though? You don't really need to. I feel like my head's coming right off. You can even do a gable grip if you like. Okay. I don't even think you needed a grip on that. I felt my feet come off the ground. I'm like, yeah, I feel yeah. my neck starting to pop yeah. a little bit. This is not good. <laughs> you okay? No, I like all the pieces where they're supposed to be. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Any questions? Hey, Ozo. Thanks. 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 Thanks.